right, so Lindsay, welcome to our uh, Silvertech Profiles. But, um, why don't you tell me a little bit about your role here at Silvertech? I'm a senior digital account strategist on our digital marketing team. I basically lead digital marketing strategy um, for several businesses that work with us. You know, I work on a lot of digital ads, um, like on Google and Facebook content strategy, email, SEO, you name it. So how do you manage to stay up to date on all of the, you know, digital marketing tools, uh, trends, technologies, all those things? When I um, open my computer for the day, I always try to just take like a minute or two at least to read through newsletters. And so I just try to take that time to see if there's any new updates or trends. And then something new that I've started to do now while working from home, if I, you know, making a lunch or something that I'll try to sign up for webinars and I'll listen to either half an hour or hour webinar. What are some of the more exciting uh, technologies in sort of the digital world that you've sort of learned about recently? No sure. one knows where it's going to go or, you know, how some of the trends that we were talking about months ago are now going to fit into this new kind of changing climate. Something that was you know, a big discussion in marketing prior to all of this happening was how Google is going to be blocking third party cookies. We were really preparing for that. And, you know, that really fits into a larger conversation about user privacy. I don't think that that has been put on the back burner at all. I think that that also fits in with where is marketing going. You know, are there any um, examples of some projects that you've worked on recently with any clients that, you know, you're kind of particularly proud of? I'm really excited to be part of a brand research project that um, one of our e-commerce businesses um, started on. What we're doing is an audience audit to kind of figure out who their target demographic is, what speaks to that audience, how do we reach them with our marketing messaging. And it's interesting timing because pretty much every brand is facing this challenge right now. All of that is just changing so much right now, and it's really exciting to be part of this project. Just in general, what is your sort of favorite type of project to work on? So I love when I get to like dive deep into developing content for a client, but I also just love the satisfaction of seeing the results of marketing all the way through the end. Like this e-commerce business, they sell like health and diet food, and they get rave reviews about their products. And it makes you realize like you're not just like throwing together marketing campaigns and yeah, this was the data, but it really had some very like real impacts with our hospital clients. They're obviously going through a very tough time and saving lives and our marketing efforts to bring awareness to their services and how they can offer things to their community is really obviously having a very real impact. What are some of the things that you're doing to sort of make priorities within the work-life balance. I'm a new mom, so I learned really early on that you have to be really efficient with your time. When I need to focus on something, that is how I'm gonna get it done the fastest and, and try to avoid multitasking. I really try to focus as much as I can on that task so I can get it done quickly and then move on to the next thing. That's the same, you know, with my family life. I can kind of close the computer for a day, walk out of my office into my kitchen and focus on family life. Of course, there's times where there's late nights and you're working on projects, but for the most part, that hasn't, you know, led too much in either direction. Thank you so much for, uh, for joining us for this interview. Yeah, thanks, Michael. Thank <laughs> you.